Dragonfly Energy is a comprehensive energy technology company. We're based in Reno, Nevada, and our core business is centered around the delivery of battery packs to a variety of stationary storage markets, so RV, marine, off-grid, long-haul trucking, these sorts of things. The R&D department's work is really exciting, I think, because we are getting to do some really fundamental research, but always in a really applied manner. The R&D uh, department for Dragonfly Energy is focusing a lot on solid state cell technology and scale up of conventional cell chemistries using our patented and proprietary dry electrode manufacturing process. The equipment investment is really important. Most of what we're trying to onshore in, in terms of industrialized technology, so cell production, hasn't really been done at scale in the U.S. It's brand new, you know, it's new territory, so it's not like we can always just refer to a paper or some sort of manual when we are trying to problem solve. It requires a lot of reverse engineering, it requires a lot of process optimization, it requires a lot of fundamental learning, and to do that you need a lot of research infrastructure that allows you to analyze these cells, analyze the components, and start studying why and how they fail. The instrumentation that we've purchased is so critical to the work that we're doing in the lab because it really helps us to answer these questions. So in order to do any sort of um, preemptive QC analysis to qualify new materials, uh, to do um, post-mortem analysis after a battery has cycled, or even better yet, an operando analysis uh, of a cell that's actually cycling so we can really understand what's happening to these batteries. None of that would be possible without good quality instrumentation. I think uh, Bruker is constantly pushing the boundaries of what, you know, analytical technologies that have been around for say 30, 40, even 100 years can do and where they can actually provide those benefits. With our instrument lines, uh, we are covering um, NMR and EPR, uh, starting from high resolution instruments, floor standing instruments, down to um, benchtop derivatives of the same technique. This enables a variety of use cases and deployment opportunities. Brooker is not only selling NMR devices, it's not only instruments. They are coupled and, and stacked with analytical workflows and software, which can, in an R&D environment, help the spectroscopist um, to increase throughput, um, to um, process data more quickly, to interpret data more quickly. Um, software does everything in terms of interpreting data and filing a report, and at the end you would have uh, the report. So this makes a huge difference. I think the, the relationship between Bruker and Dragonfly is really beneficial to both parties because uh, we're learning more about a technology that we're not necessarily manufacturing and trying to sell and competing in, but more using to create our products. Both companies are bringing um, a well-defined range of expertise to the table, right? On, on the Bruker side is how to operate and how to develop new analytical methods. Dragonfly Energies, from an R&D perspective, to use these new workflows we are developing together to encapsulate them into software-based workflows and roll them out into production-affiliated uh, uh, environments. I personally really enjoy working with the Bruker team because they're just great people. They're a really fun time who are incredibly knowledgeable about their instruments uh, and they're never uh, not willing to share their wealth of knowledge with us. Uh, they've been very helpful in really pushing the boundaries of these instruments and helping us leave no stone unturned when we're trying to do our analysis on our batteries or battery samples. We've had ample opportunity to go train with their um, application scientists who are experts in these instruments. Uh, so working together, we can answer these really critical questions of you know, what's happening inside of a battery or what's the best way to analyze this material. But in addition to that, we're really pushing the boundaries of those specific instruments um, and pushing their understanding of how to use their own equipment.